sitting pretty. Hey guys, welcome to Supercars of London. And um, I'm quickly going to start with, even though this is Thursday and it's going to be Throwback Thursday, I'm going to start with what happened yesterday, which was Wednesday. Um, I launched on Twitter. If you don't follow me on Twitter, definitely uh, check uh, my page out, which is there. Um, I launched rap number two. So um, all of you guys that commented on the video of me picking the rap, um, and if you commented on my Instagram, and if you do already follow me on Twitter, please don't unfollow me. Uh, um, then go and check it out on Twitter um, or Instagram, the new design for um, the Supercars of London R8. Why do supercars always interrupt my video? I think last time when we went tax disc, disc hunting and Aston Martin went past. Um, so I'm in my car again and we were heading to the haunted house of um, uh, Hertfordshire. However, the traffic is really bad. So I thought that I'd do the intro here and um, try and get as much done in terms of talking about what's been going on, what's coming up now. And then when we get to the haunted house or the haunted houses, then um, we will talk about the throwback Thursday. If you've been following me for a while now, when I bought the car, I did a little mini series of uh, living with a supercar, trying to give you guys an insight into what it's like to own a car like this. And now that I've had it for six months, I've got a very um, much better um, perspective on, um, my vows are on. I've got a much better perspective of what it's like to own this car. I've been living with it for six months, so, um, rather than do exactly the same video format as I've already done, like I did the McDonald's roulette, um, I went shopping, I went, uh, I did a review of the car when it was completely stock. Um, I've decided to change those episodes up a bit um, and um, do some really cool videos. So uh, we filmed a little bit last Friday and I'm definitely going to be doing stuff over the weekend and next week. So um, if you live within the Hertfordshire area, then look out for the... Um, the last few sightings of the Iron Man Audi R8 before it goes um, into its new colour. We've got a bit of a clear run now, so um, I'm going to shut you guys off and catch up with you at the haunted house. So we've made it to the um, scary buildings. Now, I think when I picked the car up from here, I had no idea that it was abandoned or anything like that, and it's under nas nationwide security. Um, and the more I come here and the more I film, the more I get scared. So. Um, I'm gonna get out of the car. Let's kick off Throwback Thursday. Um, um, am I gonna stay in the car or not? No, I'll get out of the car. I'll get out of the car and walk around. And um, today, um, on Throwback Thursday, I'm feeling quite, um, whether naughty is the right word, I'm not too sure. Basically, this week we are going to be doing a video that only went on Supercars of London for approximately two months before it was removed from the uh, community. Now I don't know too many details about that but this video got around 1.7 million in those two months so um, if you're new to Supercars of London you may not have seen it um, and if you've been following me for the five, six years that I've been doing this <coughs> oh. Oh, sorry then you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. So um, this video features a black LP640 with the LP670 rear wing. And I think a lot of you guys are gonna know where I'm going with this. This was the very, very angry um, passerby that got really peed off with a Lamborghini that was revving um, to the limit. Let me start by what happened um, during the beginning of this video. Um, we saw this car parked around Harrods and it was a car that we'd never seen before. Um, so we were very excited. Um, it had the uh, SV rear wing. We originally thought that it was a black SV until we looked closer and realized that it was just your standard Murcielago LP640. Still an unbelievable car, one of my favorites. And um, we waited around, we waited for the owner, um, hoping that it had a aftermarket exhaust system. Um, and in fact, it had a decatted exhaust system, which um, probably was the best sort of setup that you could get um, for the LP640. The Haman, however, um, is the loudest, uh, but it may not be livable on an everyday basis. Um, but this LP640 is started up, um, and the first thing it did, it scared the person behind it because um, I think the person behind was having its photo taken with the car and he decided to start it up with a blip of the throttle um, which scared him. I'm not sure whether we caught that on film. However, 
when he had parked up in traffic, we asked him to uh, give it some revs because um, it's just the, an exhaust tone that um, the V12 has that is absolutely phenomenal. Um, and what happened next was something that I'd never seen before, something that I was never expecting. So just watch this and um, you'll probably pick your drawer up off the floor after because what we filmed here is uh, pretty unbelievable. So, pretty unbelievable scenes. Um, this was back in 2012, so we're only throwing back a couple of years, um, but it was still a video that I will never forget filming, and the argument that uh, these two guys had, um, I've had to blur out some of it because the video got taken down um, on from our YouTube. Whoa. <gasps> some massive stick has just... Uh... I'm getting in the car. Um, on from our usual. Now, there's an old bit of wood that hasn't just cracked off the tree. <laughs> ah, now I'm scared. <laughs> right, I'm sitting in the car and I'm locking the doors. Right, let's go back to the video. So, and I'll talk about um, the uploading process, how many views it got in the short space of time, and then why it got taken down. Not that I know why it got taken down. So, we filmed it. Um, we filmed uh, the owner, and um, whether it was a resident, a tourist, or whatever he was, he was angry at how loud that car was and he said that it scared him and it scared everyone else on the street. It didn't scare us because we actually asked him to rev it. However, we uploaded it, um, it went pretty viral pretty quickly, uh, it went all over the internet, 1.7, 1.8 million views in the space of two months, probably our fastest growing uh, video that we've ever put on the Supercars of London YouTube channel, and it was just absolutely insane. But then, out of nowhere, it just got cut off, it got removed from YouTube, and um, we just received an email that says the community has taken it down. So um, we're unsure whether one of the people that were in the video came forward and asked YouTube to remove it. Not too sure um, on that front. However, it really annoyed us because I think if it was still online today, it would have received a lot of views. And we've been toying with the idea on whether to upload it or not but I think uh, just for the privacy of the people in the video and how many views it got uh, we decided to leave it off until now <laughs> but it's a good throwback Thursday this video is absolutely insane we couldn't believe what we had filmed um, the Lamborghini was obviously very very loud and um, unfortunately there was a guy that was in the wrong place at the wrong time probably made him jump like that stick just did there which uh, really freaked me out um, but there you have it. That Throwback Thursday was definitely one to remember. Uh, filming it, I think it was in May 2012. Um, I'll always remember seeing that black Lamborghini. The number plate's now on a black Aventador, and I've only seen it once. Um, so it's quite elusive, and I'm not sure whether he's changed his exhaust system yet, so I'm hoping to catch that on the street soon. Um, preferably not revving in a uh, packed area, just because it will, um, by the sounds of it, the driver has some pretty bad luck when it comes to revving up in front of people. Um, but, I mean, I had to do a throwback Thursday on this. It was one of my favorite videos, and it's um, one that I think a lot of uh, people out there that are gonna know, uh, and unfortunately, just because it got taken down, uh, we haven't been able to re-upload it. So it's a, a memory more than something that you can just go back on to YouTube and check out a video like um, a lot of these throwback Thursday videos. So a special one, today I hope you have enjoyed it we've still got a fair few to go through I'm really looking forward to doing some power more power slides um, 
in the throwback Thursday, definitely not in my car. Although last week it was quite fun when I got given that Zonda to do some power slides. That was pretty cool. Um, my car is steam steaming up now. Um, I think that's due to the water outside, um, how much I'm scared of going outside. Um, and just the fact that um, maybe there's a ghost in here. Maybe that's why it's steaming up. I have no idea. And yeah, thank you for everyone that keeps supporting me, keeps subscribing, sharing, watching everything. I uh, truly appreciate it and um, will continue making as many videos as possible, giving you an insight into my life, into the life of this um, Audi R8 and also into the supercars of London. So um, this weekend, weather permitting, I'll be in central London filming uh, some cars and I'm really looking forward to getting back on my feet and walking about 10 miles a day, which is a pretty standard day in central London. But that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed this Throwback Thursday, special Throwback Thursday, um, purely because the video actually isn't online anymore. Um, so maybe if you want to see it online, maybe we could get it back online somehow with um, some editing, some trickery, um, and whatever we need to do to get it back online. Um, maybe I'll do that. Um, but it's just such an, a bizarre video, absolutely bizarre. And I think if I rev this car up, um, I don't think I'd not. I'd like to not. Th I'm mixing up my words now. I'd like to think I wouldn't annoy anyone. Thanks for watching. I'll see you very, very soon. Looking forward to uh, filming a lot more videos for you guys. And uh, make sure that you subscribe. And if you've subscribed, share it with your friends. Share it with everyone on your Facebook. Share it with everyone on Twitter. Definitely follow me on Twitter as well. We can have uh, some good chats about cars and stuff like that. Um, and um, yeah. Don't really know what to say with my car at the moment. But I'll get back home, start it up, see what happens. Did you hear that? That wasn't this. Just went up. I hope I haven't got a ghost in here. I'm just going to go.